My name is Lila and welcome to another episode of Become the Premier Pro Transition Edition. In this episode, we're going to learn how to create your own transitions to level up your videos. In the previous episode, we discussed what transitions are and when and why to use them. We also went over a couple of transition cuts and techniques that you can use for your videos. So if you haven't checked that one out, then I recommend to watch it after this video because there will be a card at the end of this video as well as a link in the description. Let's start with some in character camera transitions. Now one you've probably seen a lot on this platform is the whip transition. And in order to create a whip transition, all you have to do essentially is just pan your camera in the same direction twice. Here we have the two clips that we're going to be editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. At the end of this first shot, I am panning away. And at the beginning of this shot, I am doing the same exact motion in the same direction. So all we're going to do to create this whip transition is cut right here in the blurriness of clip A and then do the same thing for clip B. And then let's put those two clips back together. This is how you do a whip transition. Another fun and really easy transition that you can create in camera is actually very similar to the dip to black built-in transition in Premiere Pro. Now you can transport yourself to a new location or a new day by putting your hand over the lens, for example, or putting your camera towards, let's say your chest or an object. We will basically just repeat what we did with the previous transition in clip A, I'm gonna put my hand on the lens and in clip B, I am taking my hand off the lens. So all we have to do in Premiere Pro is to find the black frame in both of the clips Cut that out and then put the clips together. I feel like we should go to the beach one more time. Isn't this great? Before we move on to a few popular transitions that we can add in post, there is one more in-camera transition that I want to share with you, and that is the match cut. Now, we already discussed this in the previous episode, so again, make sure you check that out after this video. Link will be in the description. Now, a fun way to do this in a vlog could be to clap or to snap your fingers or to jump in both of those frames and then match that action together. And when it comes to editing these clips, it works the exact same way as the match cut that we discussed in the previous episode. The first thing we want to do is we want to put the clips on top of each other so we can start matching the frames. Let's lower the opacity in the effect controls panel so we can see both of the frames and then we'll use the position and the skill settings to match it as accurately as possible. Now I do want to note it is okay if it's not perfect because the cut will be so fast that people are not going to notice it. Just try to get it as close as possible. Did you know that when you clap your hands in a video you're automatically teleported to a random location? Pretty good one if you ask me. Now, what if you didn't shoot any in-camera transitions? There is actually a lot of transitions that we can still create when we're editing, such as using overlays, because using overlays is a great way to connect shots in your vlog or in your video. However, this is more of a stylistic choice, I would say, as it doesn't necessarily help you with your storytelling, but on YouTube, this definitely works. One thing to keep in mind if you are using overlays is to use basically just one consistent theme to help the aesthetic of your video versus using all different kinds of overlays, which just makes your video a lot more messy and might actually disengage your viewer as well. Some of my favorite overlays to use are film burns and lens flares. Now, I just really like the vibe and I like the way that it looks. And if you do it right, it can elevate the aesthetics of your video. It will just look Good. You can download these overlays on Adobe Stock, and if you find one that you like, you can just download the HD preview first before you decide to license it. Here I have a film burn transition that I picked from Adobe Stock. Now it is a pretty long clip, so feel free to only select a part of the clip by creating in and out points by pressing I and O on your keyboard. Then we're going to put that on top of the center of the cut right here. And if we go to the effect controls panel, we're gonna go down to opacity and change the blend mode to screen to finish this transition. Now, if you like a more grungy aesthetic, then a glitch transition should be right up your alley. And these we can also find on Adobe Stock. Just type in glitch transition and then just browse through the files and find one that you like. All right, we're essentially going to do the same thing that we just did for the film burn transition. I have already selected my in and out points and I'm going to put it in the center of the cut. I'm going to zoom in a bit using the plus key as well. And as you can see, I have also put a marker at this bright frame as I think that that is the perfect frame to hide the cut. Then in effect controls, we're again going to change the opacity blend mode to screen and we should end up with something like this. 
Did you know that Premiere Pro also has a lot of transitions built in? And no, I am not talking about the star wipe transition. So next, let's explore some built-in video transitions in Premiere Pro, as well as some powerful audio transitions that we can use in this video right here.